So we arrived here on Sunday from Frankfurt for the BJJ Globetrotters annual summer camp. Pretty easy getting in. We helped him out. We helped Christian sort out everything to get the camp going for Monday. And it wasn't really a crazy night at all. Actually, we went to the pub. Yeah. So we went for dinner, just a relaxed Sunday evening after setting up the camp all day. Actually, we're on our feet for quite a while, so we ended up being quite tired. So we started the camp on Monday already tired. The good thing about that lack of sleep was that it meant that we had made a lot of friends before we'd even started on the Monday. And then we get to the Monday and the camp starts. Help set up. Christian then did the camp <coughs> introduction where he did his version of like camp speed dating. So everyone got to know everyone because when there's 200 people at a camp that are trying to roll with each other, it's nice to know, get to know each other, but it's also one of the best things about the BJJ Globetrotters camps. You know what it is? What we always say? One, two, three, the, the people. people. Yeah, he did I it. <laughs> After the introduction, we got into a couple classes ourselves. I'm not sure how much of that we filmed. An open mat, I don't think I filmed any of that. Maybe we'll put up some Instagram stories. And then the main part of the Monday was the bar crawl. So we are now done for the day of jujitsu. I say done for the day, we did two hours, which actually, if you went to two classes, that would still be a lot. So we did two sessions today. It didn't feel like much because we didn't roll or anything. There was a lot of learning, but it was good. And we feel knackered. And that's probably not from the jujitsu. That's probably from the heat and the organizing of the day. Uh, how was your day? It was nice. It was very tiring, but it was cool. But lots of incredibly friendly people. Yeah. That's, Jesus, nice. yeah. yeah. Made lots nice. of friends so already. Cool. Yeah. And now, we're going to meet more of those friends and make more of those friends at the pub crawl. We'll see how many more friends we make. What else will we see? How many uh, beers we can drink tonight? I reckon <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah, I reckon maximum three or four. We're already tired. Yeah, so We're not very good drinkers. It's like but it's going to be a good social, yeah. so we'll see. <laughs> Then we get to Tuesday where we were suffering with a bit of a hangover and Wednesday where we were just so busy. Today is a big day for us because we've got four sessions? Uh, five, five, four, five. four or five plus open mats. Um, so we're gonna get a lot of training done today. Lots of jujitsu to be done. So we've got to try and manage it as best we can. We've got lunch, huh? pre-prepared, <laughs> because they didn't have too many vegetarian options at the cantina. So the gym is about a 10 minute bus ride across. Bus station is just there. So we're heading across now for the first of the sessions. And then we'll just stay there. I think there's a an hour or two break where there's, uh, it's a two hour break because there's a open mat that there's an open mat and then a class that uh, I think is gi class, so we didn't bring our gi today. You want to say anything? Uh, no. <laughs> We can do this one. Right. 8 p.m. End of the day. God's yeah. sake, I'm so tired. The Look at my time. face. <laughs> the night time. And it's this still probably... very sunny outside. I don't know if you can see it at the door there. I'm still pretty busy on the map. Sunny. Yeah. So like considering it's 8 p.m. considering they started at 10 a.m. this morning. Yeah. Yeah. We just like 
Just eat shower and pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a relaxing one tonight. Yeah. The next day. All right, on the same street, heading to the same bus, only like two or three hours earlier because we're in for our longest day of the week. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Not necessarily in the gym, but we'll be doing yoga this morning that starts at nine. The day will then finish finally at some point tonight because we're gonna be going to a dinner and then going out. So it's gonna be the longest or most action packed <laughs> of the days. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Now, firstly, the days are starting to blur. I don't know which day it is. Um, and secondly, we're starting to realize that the lessons are like, you can only do so much lessons within a week. I mean, you have so many techniques out there that you could learn, but learning them and watching them for one hour isn't actually gonna implement them in the game. So that's what we've got to try and figure out, right? Yeah. Have fun at the open mats. Um, but first we're gonna start with a much needed yoga and then we'll see how this morning of jujitsu goes. Ready for our third, oh, you did yoga, and now it's our second class. Yeah, no, this is my third class. I did yoga. Well, yeah, but yoga I doesn't count as a class. Our second jujitsu class, our third class of the day. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Whee. Tired. Yeah, a lot of hours of jujitsu. Now we get a little bit of a rest, but another class. It's a board class. It's a board. Board room. <laughs> Conference room. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Up there. What's that? We camp, most camps will do conference room classes as well, so you get more education, but without the physicalness of BJJ. We're doing everything as well, like meditation, uh, there's like business and creative stuff. This one is how to be a competitor. We want to learn how to be a competitor. <laughs> oh yeah. So what was that? Two, yeah, two open mats, three classes, yeah. plus a classroom okay, session. And we are done for training for the day at least. So now we're going to go back. Then we're going to go out, maybe explore a little bit of Heidelberg, um, get dinner and maybe just stay out and have some socials. Any comments on the day? Yeah, no, it was just like a very fun day, like a lot of learning, it was very cool, liked it. What did you learn? <sighs> Jeez, so much. Name three things, go. I learned how to be heavy, uh, triangles, like uh -huh. different positions for triangles. What's the next thing? Uh, just learned I need to, in the oh. in-class session, Just I just need to be confident and, <laughs> and even if I'm not, do the competitions anyway and that's it boom after our amazing day of training we decided to have a nice and relaxing dinner together so we went to downtown and we could explore a little bit of the city we ate delicious food and then we just went back to the hostel because we're just so tired for our socials so <laughs> you want to just have a nice and relaxing time before the next day started all over again then we come to Friday which is <laughs> today <laughs> yeah so you're now caught up we had a great time today we did uh just the two one class, class. no we class. just the one yeah. class, well, one class but... we did one class and then we spent one class reviewing all the classes that we did and then we joined in with the huge open mat okay tell me one thing that surprised you about this camp i talked with a lot of people and i'm a little bit shy <laughs> I don't usually talk too much um, at this camp. I like I had no choice, and it was fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Especially we travel together, and we just mostly stick with one yeah, another, right? Yeah, we stay in our in our bubble, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this helping. This happens a lot. What about the environment made you 
talk to a lot of people. I think because we're helping now a little bit with organizing everything. And also because everyone it's met very you. Friendly. Yeah. yeah, people people there in the camp are very friendly. And it's very cool, it's very, very nice environment to, to make new friends. And then <laughs> try and choke them. Yeah. And try and smash them. But yeah, definitely. And of the people that come to camp, right, everyone is of a similar mindset yeah. that they want to travel, they want to have fun and they want to do jiu-jitsu but they also want to have fun doing their jiu-jitsu you know yeah this is it's a very cool thing you went and out of your way to talk to people not just responding to people that you spoke with yeah huh? <laughs> it's true just a really good atmosphere to to meet people in, in a really comfortable way it's considering that there's two 200 and something people on this camp uh you're always gonna like you kind of almost have no choice but to make friends but it was so, so, so easy to, to make friends with the people that come to these camps. The last day of the camp. Yes. We already did our group picture and helped pack everything away. And now it's, oh, and we did a couple of classes. And now it's time for the big open mat. Three hours long, photo booth, lots of music. Let's see what we've got going on. Oh, look. We had a few guys stay here in their camper vans or their cars yeah, and they just slept here guys coming from all over europe you can feel the heat Many hours later. Where are we now? <laughs> we are at the train station. Uh huh. Going Why? to Venice. We are finished with the camp. What did yeah. you think about the camp? I think it was very cool. I think we didn't film anywhere near enough as we we, we, yeah. we would have liked, but it was it, really difficult. We were so busy. The next camp we'll go to, we'll review properly, but this is just going to have to be like a highlights style video, yeah. right? Um, but not even a highlights video, because a lot of the highlights we didn't get on video, but it, we'll do our best. This will we'll have done this justice. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, comment below if you've been to a camp or uh, what, comment below whatever you thought about this video. Comment below if you've never done Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and were surprised by what you saw. Um, but, and if you'd like to give it a go, that'd be cool. Or if not, because of the sweaty people on you, kind of understand, let us know in the comments below. Anything else? No. Keep following along, join us on our journey. We'll see you probably in Venice yeah. or in Italy. See you in the next one.